Uh, gosh, there was one station that was right at my noise level, just barely bumping up off my noise level. And, uh, you know, uh, th this would be an excellent uh, uh, time to think about uh, ch checking your uh, ALC to be sure you're running uh, mid-scale to two-thirds uh, on your ALC. And uh, also uh, maybe uh, just a little more top-end EQ because that's the thing. When you get into a marginal situation signal-wise, uh, boy, a little top-end EQ will definitely help in uh, discerning uh, the articulation of words. If you're just a flat EQ, um, it, uh, you know, it, it tends to uh, not uh, uh, jump out when your noise level and your voice level are the same. But if you do have just a, a little uh, uh, brightness on that top end, uh, plus two or three, uh, you know, on the top uh, uh, in uh, EQ, uh, that surely does help uh, the cut and the uh, perception of what you're saying. Uh, this is KC9VKV in the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog program. Kilowatt Tango Echo. Tango Station, uh, go ahead. Yeah, kilowatt 9, the mic Tango Echo. Roger, sir, who we got there? Yeah, Hill here is Jim. We're located uh, south of Madison, about uh, 25, 30 miles. And um, I think I have your call correct. It was King Charlie 9 Victor, John Victor. Is that correct? Uh, Victor, King Victor, VKV, Roger. VGV, okay, very good, got you got correct. And uh, uh, very good. Yeah, uh, I'd just like to run a real quick test. Uh, well, we are recording, sir. When you said you were uh, so many miles from Madison, what what state of Madison? Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh, Roger. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking there's a, a Madison, um, Tennessee, a Madison, Kentucky, and a Madison, Indiana uh, that I knew of uh, immediately. <laughs> Roger. Yeah, okay. I hope by your call, uh, being in a night, I figured, uh, you know, uh, you were uh, pretty much uh, local. Your signal uh, kind of indicates that to me. Uh, about so, uh, yeah, Madison, Wisconsin. And uh, I guess if I'm recording, let me uh, do this. Okay, I turn this off here. Uh, my power level is uh, going to drop back and forth. Just turned about to see how the audio, uh, what effect it has on that. Let me look at that for you. Here's an alt. And uh, here's the original. We are running the uh, two IHY boxes. So, uh, and a uh, uh, Yesu FT-1000. So we have no uh, uh, internal processing on the, uh, on the transceiver. Uh, so I guess uh, back to you, I didn't get your name. I had uh, KT-9 uh, VEGV, K9 MTE. Roger, let me give you a call again. Kilo, Charlie, 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. And um, I, I do have a tendency to, I've got a little trim pot, a little audio trim pot right by my um, PTT. And uh, I do have a tendency to ride gain, uh, you know, uh, at uh, try to keep all, all audio up to a zero level. If uh, that involved an audio tr transition that you wanted to check, uh, you might do it again, and, and uh, I'll just leave the volume where it is, uh, you know, and it'll just be up to Mother Nature as to uh, where she uh, takes the signal audio, Roger. Yeah, okay, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, well, uh, what, uh, this is the original position here. Uh, one, two, three, four. And uh, now we'll uh, go to the uh, new position. Okay, this is the new one. And basically what we're trying to do is set up uh, uh, one easy way to uh, switch from um, uh, process audio for DXing to... Uh, audio or not as much process audio for uh, red chewing. So now I'll go back to the original. Okay, this is back on the uh, the original setting. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here. Uh, KC9 uh, VKV. 
I think we have it now. Can an MTE go ahead? Roger, Roger. What's the name up that way? I didn't get your name. Yeah, Jim. Julian India Mike and yours? Same thing. Ditto, Jim. Okay, well, I shouldn't forget that. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I have a tendency to every once in a while. It's, uh, oh boy, one of those days when I do. But uh, Okay, so I've got your situation there, and I, I have recorded you, and I did not uh, uh, shift uh, any kind of volume levels on that last one. Of course, you know, you, you do have uh, conditions uh, constantly ebb and flow, so you kind of have to, uh, you know, make allowances for that, too. You know, another way to look at that would be maybe if you ran a compromise between your your um, you know your QSO uh, EQ and your uh, contest or uh, DX uh, um, equalization settings. You know, uh, like I have found that uh, if you run the, your processor, or your compressor, at about a three. Versus, you know, if you have a 1 to, to 10, if you run it about a 3, uh, that's a, a nice choice uh, bit of compression there that uh, the average person wouldn't even hear, and yet it increases your your average peak modulation quite a bit. Uh, that uh, in, uh, in relationship also to the uh, ALC. You want to be uh, sure to be running your ALC at uh, mid-scale to uh, two-thirds. Roger? Yeah, very good, Jim. Yeah, actually, our ALC is very low. We, uh, we have done uh, oh, <laughs> testing for years on this. Let's scale. Level zero one, two. Yeah, we're about one-third scale on the ALC. So, uh, that's not a whole lot of ALC. Uh, we have found that, uh, that can be a, uh, a bad, uh, uh, mix in the whole deal, running too much ALC. So, but yeah, we're, we're just trying to do something. We, we have things set up for our, uh, you know, DX audio, if you want to call it that. Um, but then when we have, uh, you know, reg juice, people uh, kind of complain because I have so many highs and uh, the audio is too loud and this and that. And, you know, they want more uh, comfortable listening uh, things. So rather than going and changing all the uh, 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 equalizers here and compression levels and uh, audio levels and everything, you know, I've got so many controls in here between these two boxes and then the uh, transceiver uh, that uh, I was just trying to find a uh, easy way out and I uh, I think I found it but I just want to uh, make sure Roger, Roger, Jim. Well, if you, if you find the answer, let me know. Uh, <laughs> I have been looking for the uh, ideal answer. You know, I guess it is. Uh, uh, a lot of the uh, modern uh, radios have a uh, menu-driven uh, uh, situation where you can create all different kinds of conditions in, uh, say, a memory, and then uh, you can choose that memory uh, uh, or another memory would you know and you so you could have uh, you know a lot of different uh, uh, modulation conditions in there and you could just uh, go to memory and hoop uh, hit that uh, that uh, memory position and all those uh, can those um, settings uh, come into play on your radio of course I can't afford I can barely afford my own memory Roger <laughs> yeah Roger I understand that yeah, well, just you listening there, uh, what are your comments uh, between the two different uh, modes? Go ahead. All right, so when you're running now, I think would be a good uh, DX mode, uh, or contest mode, you know. Um, it got a lot of uh, uh, punch in it in the, uh, the upper side. But, uh, you know, for QSO, uh, you would probably want to crank in a 4, a 4 dB or so uh, of uh, bottom end push. 
uh, plus four or so uh, bottom end uh, EQ uh, to um, to make it a little more mellow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, let me make my change. Okay. I made my change. Basically, is what I have done. Uh, some of it, I don't know what I've done because, uh, well, let's see, I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, IHY boxes or not. Uh, no, negative, huh? It sounded like you uh, kept the same top end and uh, uh, just put a little uh, boost on the bottom side, Roger. And it's, uh, not, uh, anything by, uh, design. Roger, you're in uh, right two at the moment. Your last transmission was right two. Oh, that's correct. All right. I would think uh, just a little more bottom end, if you have any, uh, that you can put on that uh, and then that motif uh, to uh, make it just a little more mellow. In other words, you're still you're still keeping your top. It sounds to me like you're still keeping your top end EQ for both uh, uh, situations, but uh, on the uh, right you, uh, I think you want to be just a little more on the bottom side uh, uh, baseline. Uh, Roger, Roger? Right, right. I uh, understand that totally. Uh, the situation, though, uh, to make this easily uh, changeable between the two modes, um, I can't be uh, doing any adjustment. Uh, for either mode. The uh, DS mode is uh, already set and that stands uh, which is basically the arranging mode that uh, this one, this mode here, the arranging mode, uh, when I was monitoring myself, appears to be a little more mellow than the DS mode. Roger, Roger, Jim. Uh, well, we've got it on tape, and uh, you can uh, go to YouTube there and uh, uh, do the call letter search for KC9VKV. And uh, when QSO Vlog page comes up, uh, uh, this will be called uh, My Group Air Check 111618. My Group Air Check 111618, and this will be the whole uh, hour and a half uh, air check, and you'll be in there. And uh, so you can hear uh, the various uh, changes that you made and uh, uh, see what you think. Roger, Roger. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. That's great. I really appreciate that. Appreciate your time and uh, patience. And uh, uh, by testing here and uh, doing the uh, recording and so on. Yeah, we'll uh, listen to that. Um, I think you said, what, it'd be a couple of days or something. Uh, you were telling the other fella a couple of days or so uh, before you have it on uh, YouTube. Go ahead. Yeah, Roger, we say within a couple of days, that'll give us, uh, you know, I, I, I don't want to say I'll get it up there and then not get it up there. So a couple of days, uh, I'm, uh, I'm sure I'm going to make that, Roger. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. Well, you said I really appreciate it. And um, sometimes, uh, you know, listening to yourself, you can get uh, 
a little bit better idea of what you're, if, if you're achieving what you want to or not. Uh, audio is such a uh, subjective uh, topic, and, uh, you know, you can ask uh, 10 people how the audio sounds, and you'll get 10 different answers. So, I've uh, come to the conclusion after literally playing for uh, years with audio that uh, I'm best off to myself. And uh, make the adjustments that way. And uh, if I like what I hear, fine. If I don't like what I hear, then I, uh, you know, try to make it uh, to the point that I do like it. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, that's it, man. You, you know, you got to satisfy yourself first, and uh, hopefully, um, other folks will. Um and share your feeling there, you know, and uh, so that's the thing. But uh, being able to hear it uh, uh, cleanest, that's that's the important thing. And it's hard to uh, talk and listen at the same time. I mean, it's just your words, your spoken words get in the way of your ears. But if you're listening back, not having to speak, then you can uh, more succinctly uh, copy the mail uh, on the articulation and all that, all that stuff with the audio. So uh, uh, I wish you luck, sir, and uh, hopefully uh, you'll be able to uh, to uh, get your situation where you can uh, flip a button and go from one to the other, or find a, a nice compromise uh, that you can run uh, the same thing for. For both, you know. So uh, three is out of way, sir, and we we appreciate it, Jim. Roger. Okay. Well, I truly appreciate it, and uh, you're right. Uh, you know, it's hard to talk and listen to yourself at the same time, and that's why uh, I just have to be uh, on this frequency listening. I heard you uh, mention that to the your uh, to the previous few so. And uh, I said, I'm going to jump on this one. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get in there and uh, get a quick check. So, okay, Jim, well, we're going to get out of here. Um, take a quick look across the band, and then we got to get uh, some things done around the house here. It's uh, been kind of a radio day today, and uh, nothing gets done around the house. <laughs> So, again, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, and we will uh, uh, look forward to uh, listening on YouTube. KC9VKV uh, from K9MTE. Roger, roger, uh, Jim. Three's that away, sir. You have a good day.